Hey guys, we're going to talk about a time-saving shoe trick. Back to the good hey guys, I think. This is a very old shoe. I think I last wore this for Chicamocha Canyon. Did not have enough traction. All right, so this is speed laces that turn the shoe into a slip-on. I can just pull it on and pull it off when I want to change shoes. Super convenient. I do this to all of my running shoes. However, after buying a couple pairs of these, they're actually... Oh, those are Nathan. There's speed laces, there's quick laces. A lot of companies make these and you get this nice little plastic toggle on the end and they send you about the right length. Uh, I have a couple problems with these. One is they're seven or eight bucks a set, which is a lot for what they are. And two, they're actually thicker uh, than the holes in a lot of my shoes, depending on the brand. And that's a huge pain in the ass. This is shot cord. You can get 50 feet for about the same price online. Super convenient stuff. This is 25 millimeter shot cord or paracord. You'll see a bag like this usually or something similar. And you'll have a choice of picking sizes. 25 millimeter. Everything else is bigger. You won't like it. The toggles can be bought. Doesn't even have a brand. You can order them online. And you got to pay attention to the size and shape of the toggles, although they all work. These ones don't hold on quite as well to the 25 millimeter shot cord as these ones. This is a single hole they both go through. This, each lace gets its own hole, which is nice. I've got these in one of my pairs of shoes. Here's one. And see how I've tied it once over top of there? Still not the mess that tying a knot in a shoe is, but I did have to do that to make it stop. But again, because this has give, because the cord has a little bit of give and then a hard end point, uh, you can you can pull against it and get your foot in your shoe. And that slight looseness actually, you'd think that you'd get more blisters when your shoe's loose. You get less. That little bit of give is super good for you. This is what otherwise you have to deal with in order to change socks because it's wet, because you sweat it in your socks. So not doing this makes it a lot harder to avoid trench foot. You put off taking rocks out of your shoe, all of that. So this shoe, you'll notice I duct taped the ends after I was sure of the length, so it doesn't unravel. You don't have to do that. This shoe, I didn't do that. I'm about to. Just being sloppy. This is Carmel's shoes that uh, I'm speed lacing because she's out of town. The key thing here is notice it's still attached to the big amount. That's because when you try to guess length, you're going to guess wrong. Here's a shoe where the wrong length was guessed and there's no extra problematic. So instead, I've taken and started at the top and I'm alternating holes going all the way down the shoe. You have to make sure to leave one empty and getting it pushed through. You may have difficulty pushing it through some of these tiny holes towards the end of the shoe. Use an ink pen to widen the hole out a little bit. Recut the end if you have to to get rid of the fraying and you can always end up getting it through there. So when they're done, these again will have the toggle and be a slip-on shoe. Much easier to change, much quicker to get rocks out of when you're in a race course because you won't put it off and wind up with terrible trashed feet. You may feel at first like your shoe feels a little looser and you may have the temptation to try to snug it down a lot. Don't do that. In a technical 5k you might want the tightest shoe possible but if a shoe is fitting very tight somewhere it's going to rub. If you rub your arm Indian burn it, if you don't put enough pressure you, you will never succeed. I gotta, probably gotta eliminate that phrase from my vocabulary. Uh, old people things. We used to call it that when you when you twist someone's arm and make the skin hurt. But you had to be tight so that the pressure would create enough friction. Your shoe's too tight, that pressure creates friction. All right, so do what you want, but a suggestion that saves a ton of time coming through aid stations, getting things out of your shoes, and making sure that you change socks and relube your feet often enough. All right, have a good day.